Hey guys, this is MacEdge101. This is just going to be a video on keychain security and what is a keychain. Now, you may have noticed that when you set up something like iChat or Mail, that it saves all your passwords for all your accounts so that way you don't have to log in every time you open them. And, of course, you can still change your password, but it does save them. You might also notice when you open up Safari, sometimes it asks you for your keychain password. It doesn't in this case, but um, it sometimes will. And so that's kind of um, um, interesting. So um, basically, what is a keychain? Um, is it secure? And uh, I'll just show you. So first of all, keychains are basically um, a, a file. Each keychain is a file that can contain passwords or pieces of text or something, something important like that. Um, let me just demonstrate to you. Um, there's a program on your computer probably called Keychain Access. If not, it's been removed for um, I'm not sure why. Um, but right here, um, you can see here's my keychain. Um, right here. So, um, you can open Keychain Access. So, here are the things that are going to show you. Login system and system roots. Login copy is there. I don't know why. I'll just click delete reference. Okay, so, um, right here I don't have any password saved except for home.comcast.net. Um, I'm not sure why that is saved. But, um, so basically you can double click on a password and check show password and type your keychain password. Now what is your keychain password? It's the encryption password on your physical keychain. My keychain is called login. That's the default keychain. And by default it unlocks when you log in because the password for the keychain is the same as your user password. So I'm going to show you um, basically um, how to create a new keychain that, or how to change your keychain password or how to even use your keychain securely to secure store notes and stuff like that. So let me just demonstrate a few things. Right here is a, here's here's login, but there's also a, a, a menu bar on Keychain Access. File, new password item, new secure note, new keychain. I'll just click um, new keychain for now. And we're going to create a keychain called MacHeads01. Now I'll click create, and it'll ask me to enter a keychain password. The longer the password, the more secure. I'll just make it 20 digits long. So find password. Um, so okay. And so right here is the Mac has an on keychain. You might also notice this little lock, and you can click this to lock. That encrypts the keychain and locks the keychain down so that no program can read even what's on the keychain or the usernames or anything, especially the passwords without you typing in the keychain password. So if you lock login, then you open something that requires a password, I don't know, then um, it will ask you to enter your keychain password for whatever keychain it's trying to read the password off of. If the login keychain packs are to say one two three four five, then you should type in one two three four five. You can also right click on it and change password for login. I'll just type my password, and this is your user password. And then you type your current keychain password and a new password, and confirm the new password. Oops. Okay, and click OK. Now, it's automatically unlocked, and I can just lock it again for maximum security. When it is locked, like I said, no other program could read your keychain. Same with this. I'll just unlock it and type the keychain password. Um, okay, and now we can go up to File, New, Password Item. On any selected keychain, I'll just go back to login. Or no, I'll just show this on Mac Kids and One. You can go up to file, new password item, new secure note, new keychain. First, I'll make a password. So, keychain item name, I'll just make it for Mac Kids 101. Account name, Mac Kids 
101. Password Joe. It's a very weak password. But okay. So right here is a password. You can double click it and check show password and type your keychain password in order to actually see the password. Um, any Wi-Fi passwords you type in here will also appear in keychain access. So I'll just demonstrate this to you by connecting to my wireless network called Homer. I called it Homer from the Simpsons, yes. And now I'll type my password. And um, it's going to connect me. And it's going to ask me for my keychain password because I, I, I checked off remember password in my keychain. And that's for the login keychain, as you can see, and my login keychain password is really long. But um, There we go. And right here, in login now, it's placed Homer, airport network password. And I can uncheck and type my, my keychain password. And right here is my Wi-Fi password, happens to be Joe Blow. Um, I don't know why I made it that I just did. And I can also um, delete that, but I'm not going to. I can delete this also. I'll just click delete and delete it. Um, also, right down here, I, I can delete this keychain. But let me also show you how to put a keychain on an external hard drive. Right here is my Ubuntu hard drive I just have wired up called Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu HD. And say I want to put my keychain on that for is saying I'm going to connect this hard drive to another Mac. I can go into my home folder, open up library in my home folder, go down to keychains, oops, and just open up keychains. And right here is my login keychain right there. It'll open up with keychain access automatically. Um, and it's locked and it's highly encrypted. So if you open it up with, say, a text editor, I'll just use Taco HTML. You can't read it. It's un it's unreadable in any way. You cannot read it. It's encrypted. But what you want to do is if this is really encrypted well, you can copy it, paste it into Ubuntu HD. Right there's login keychain. Now I can open login keychain from any computer and my login keychain will be here. This is it. Actually, I'm not sure which one is it. You can also make a keychain. Make a, um, yeah. Um, anyway, I'll just delete this. And now, I'll open keychain access again, and it won't recognize the keychain anymore. But, so that's what a keychain is. So, a keychain is a secure data store, basically. It stores information like passwords and secure notes. And actually, let me just demonstrate this. If you have a keychain selected, you got the file, new secure note. Then you type the item name. I'll just call it Joe. And then you type what the note is. Joe. Click add. Here's my secure note, and the note will be encrypted. And you have to check show note and type your keychain password in order to display the note. Okay. And so this is another way you can make a password file in here. In your keychain. So, um, that's just how to, um, basically secure any, um, password or anything and access your passwords that you may have stored with the password for your keychain of obviously and how to transfer keychains to um other drives and open them on other computers so um thank you for watching Mac Kids on subscribe and goodbye